Hello everyone, today I have Milbook M18 PID2 impact driver and the problem with this one is that it's um, struggling to work on all power when it's warm so I don't know, I will try to open it, I have no idea what can be wrong with it Taking the armature out, checking the bearing of the armature. Not seem to be wobbling or something. Okay, the armature looks nice. What we have here, the field looks nice too. Okay, so we are going to the inside of the tool. Gently pushing the housing. And no <laughs> other housing don't want to be open it. Okay, maybe this screw. Strange. Out slowly, getting out. Okay. So first thing what we can see here it's a lot of dust. So basically, and and for this one is um, when it gets warm, it the electronic brake not working. Of course, it can be because of the all the dust here. That's a really not a good sign to have a lot of dust in a tool yeah. okay, definitely needs to be cleaned And why are you not going to go out? Okay, got it out. So we have the switch all covered with this. I'm brushing it. And let's see, maybe I will wash it in a ultrasonic washer or spray with the contact cleaner 
Now just brushing the dust. And first of all, I want to find out the, why we have the problem with the, the hammering when the tool is warm. Okay, have some dust here. I need to clean them. We have the bearing inside, and it's a lot of dirt here. what I want to check is the bearing inside it moves good moves easily now we have the bearing here and this bearing is not moving anywhere so I'm taking it out and yeah we can see that the grease here is overheated and yep yeah, now I even cannot Move this bearing around. Okay, okay, this is moving. So maybe it press it in. Yeah, it's moving. Okay. And yeah, it's uh, not a bearing, it's a housing for the bearing. This bearing is moving, of course the grease is overheated, that can cause the problems. And we need to disassemble this one. Okay. So, we are taking the pins out. the gears out and we can inspect the gears if they have no cracks or something seems that they don't have some cracks other gear seems to be good the hammer itself we have some old grease on it Yeah, it's a very heated grease here. And okay, so why it fails when it's heated and loaded? Okay, this bearing moves easily. And it will move easily. Okay, what can we do here? We can open this one, disassemble it, and check what we have inside of it. Normally I'm doing that otherwise. So pressing everything down. And I hope that this balls will go out. And okay, let's see if I can move them. Yep, I can move this one out. And the second one. Can it be moved out? Yeah, the second one. Okay. 
Now just releasing everything slowly, not forgetting that we have a spring inside. Okay, lifting the anvil. You can see some wear and tear here. And of course the dirt, the spring with the washer. And we have a lot of balls here. Best way to collect them is to put uh, this one on the magnetic plate like this. Because now I know that I will not lose them, or I hope so. The one, the last one left. Okay. So and now. All we can do now here is to wash the parts and then inspect them again and hope that we will not find anything bad. Then we will regrease it after washing and put it to work again back. Okay, after cleaning the parts, we need to get everything back as it was. So I'm inserting the balls into the hammer. Okay, now as we have the balls in our hammer, we need to spread them. One by one. The balls got magnetic from a magnetic plate. That's not helping me. I will do it in a more simple way. Take the washer. I will put the washer inside and I will just press the washer and spin it around. And I hope that the oil bearings all balls got in place. Okay, now we have time for our spring. Just using a small amount of grease here and putting the spring. There we have the hammer. We need to press it down to get the balls inside here. Okay, now we know that we need to get one ball inside of here. The one side. And it seems that I will be needed to 
move this ass around to get everything fit. Yeah, I need to release it. I think I moved it around. Now I hope that the ball will fall down here. Yeah, it fall it, and now inserting it on the other side here. Now when I release it, the hammer will not go out from the assim. Okay, seems not bad. Now it's moving. We can test it. Yeah, the spring is moving, so the hammering will work. Okay, what we can go more? We can put the grease here. Good amount of grease here. Increasing the size of the hammer. And inserting it in. Okay, not inserting. Sorry, almost forgot the gears. And not forgetting the the washer. Okay, now I can put the hammer inside and not hold it anymore. We have the gear. I will grease the gear from the inside. And now I'll try to put in the housing. And I think I have put it down it opposite way. Let's try to put it in this way. Yeah, looks really better. And we need to put the cover. Seems that we have assembled it. We can check if it spins easily. Yeah, it spins easily. That's definitely a good sign. Okay. So now we can go for the housing.
I have bended this connector. So it goes here and now a housing. I have straightened it when taking it out. at first take this connector Okay, now we have the LED light and the connector, it's like a grounding, I think, for the gear I see. When it's like, I don't know why it's needed here, but if it is here, that means it was needed. Switch. The field. Okay, so place. Now we need to get the gear rice in the place. Yep, fit it perfectly. We can close the housing. Trying to get align everything. The screw here, not letting me do that. See that the house encloses perfectly. Yeah, the house encloses perfectly. Now we need to put our armature. In. We have four screws here. Bug driver, now it's time to test it. Okay, sounds good, looks good, and I hope it will work for the customer good. For now, thank you for watching. Bye.